Hey everyone, it's your boy Kyle. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to react to the last episode of Season 1 of What If, Episode 9. I am so, so hyped to share my reaction with you. I looked at the title of the episode, and it's called What If the Watcher Broke His Oath. That is super, super interesting to me. Super hyped. Um, the title gives me an in indication that this is like part 2 of the what happened with part one with episode eight and it's like continuation on with episode eight and i am so so happy i'm kind of the feeling that the next episode would lead from episode eight just because of the way they ended with the episode and a lot of stuff happened so it's like for them to just to leave it and then like do nothing afterwards and go to do something different in the next episode wouldn't feel right to me and i feel like a lot of you know, Marvel fans would agree with me on that, and they would be pretty disappointed, but I'm so, so hyped to see, you know, part two of what's going to take in um, this episode, and I'm so, so excited. Before we get started with this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell button, follow me on all my social medias, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, interested in, you know, video games, I am streaming live on Twitch, I'd love to have you over there. You don't necessarily have to be interested in video games, it's just like my live streaming content i am personally playing video games and all stuff but you can you know ask me marvel questions star wars questions harry potter you know chit chat with the little community i'm trying to build over there i just want to see your beautiful face right over on my twitch um, live stream lastly i'm interested in watching my uncut version or getting early access to my content you can pop it over to my patreon the link for my patreon and all my socials in the comment section down below without further ado let's get right into this video Oh, Peggy Carter! So up their last payload when oh, yay! The How many pirates? 20 or so charmers. Oh, in Black Widow. Rock. Oh, this is... The door, he Winter Soldier scene. Six. Strike team, you heard the captain. Gear up. So, any plans for Saturday night? No, don't. Stop right there. Yeah, <laughs> in the counting was asking about you. Nothing good has ever followed the phrase Bernard in accounting. <laughs> what if his name was Steve? Ow! Just when we were becoming pals, widow. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's and here too. Answer too. <laughs> Whoa! What? Are you scared? Are you seeing that, Captain? Carl, oh! The soldier lost in time. You have been chosen. What? Ah, come on, relax, son. It'll all it's, be oh, it's ego. Years or so. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh, Travis Boseman's here. Leave this fight to us. Oh, huh. yeah. Hang back with oh, the Peter. Uh, giant baby man cape dude. <laughs> Star Lord T'Challa, leader of the Ravagers and Lost Prince of Wakanda. Oh. You have been chosen. Oh, the Infinity Gauntlet. You can't Iron Man and Gamora. Not another big bad lurking in the shadows. Monster <laughs> under the bed. Tony. Oh. Gamora, survivor of Sakaar and destroyer of Thanos. And the one who's about to kick your moon-shaped ugly mug. Not you, Stark. <laughs> you, Gamora, have been chosen. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Eric oh. Stevens, Killmonger, Tony Stark's former protege and killer. You have been chosen. Chosen for what? I uh, was. Oh, is so Thor be chosen? We were about to go on a date! Interesting. Finally, Thor, Odinson, Crown Prince of Asgard. And you! And you! You've been, you've been chosen. How about you too? Thor. Thor. Seems that, like, the Watcher's choosing a character from each episode. Thor Odinson, Crown Prince of Asgard. Fix the pup! <laughs> Where are they? Oh, we're in a pub. Oh. I know this place. The pub facade was my idea. I read about it in your biography. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's you again. You have been chosen. Mm. First, I scoured eternity for one true hero. Then I saw the bigger picture. This mission requires a team. You aren't just our best hope to save one universe. You are my last hope to save. Take all of them. them. You are. 
the Guardian. Guardians of the Multiverse! Oh, that's so hype. I do not have time for his pranks today. No, 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 I, w I wouldn't do that. My Lady Jane needs me, so how are we going? Enjoy. Uh. Oh, oh, oh! What is that? Tron. Your worlds are either under attack or soon will be by Ultron. An artificial intelligence elevated to a cosmic being thanks to an enhanced synthetic body and the power of the Infinity Stone. Six stones of near unfathomable power, each controlling an essential aspect of our existence. And so I holds all of them. Behind an army of killer robots. Afraid so. And armed with a full set of stones. Yeah. Be. I never said it. Seems like they're up against the wall. It's a suicide mission. <laughs> but I've been told that I excel at attracting unwanted attention. <laughs> Yeah. After we recover the stones, we destroy them. How would you even go about destroying the? Oh, you're answering my question. Sorry. Oh. The Infinity Crusher. What? To disintegrate each stone into nothing. Yeah. I've never heard of that. We'll hold the line, and then she'll unleash the Crusher. It's showtime, my friends. Good luck. Apparently, there's not enough intelligent life here to attract Ultron. Oh. What was that? <laughs> Steve Rogers received the serum. Now that would be a sight to see. You trust him? No. I trust everyone. Ooh, the Guardians of the Multiverse. Oh, oh shit! Life in this universe. After all. Well, there it goes, waiting until we're ready. In my yep. defense, I did warn you. I excel at attracting unwanted attention. Mm. Oh shit, there he is. Oh no! Alright, here comes a non compliant spell. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh! oh. oh cool armor oh, upgrades! Going on? It's a protection spell, you're welcome. Where did Gamora and Killmonger go? Wait, thought the plan! Viva Las Vegas! This does nothing to him. Can't say I've heard that battle cry before. <laughs> oh, frick. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, 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 that was so cool. <laughs> Somebody hammers. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Team combos. <laughs> yes. Did you get it? As Yandu says, never doubt sticky finger. Oh, he stole it! One of the infinity stones. Oh! Dragons! <laughs> You've been hiding that the entire time? Shit! Well, this has been Got it, what episode? God, it's time for me to put my stone. You stole my soul stone? Yep. Time to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh gee. So many bodies. Is that all the zombies? Oh, not them. It's what came with the zombies. Oh. Oh, Scarlet Witch! <laughs> yeah, she's the only thing that can take Ultron or something like that. Or Thanos too. Oh no, he blew up the planet. Oh, one of the stones. Stone. <gasps> oh, it's a different reality. We're here to stop Ultron. I can prove it. Your father is Ivan, your dar's Alexei, and ah! you're the one woman I trust to have my six, including now. And there are three people you trust in the universe, and I count myself lucky enough to be one of them. We must be close. I believe the term is BFF. Ah! <laughs> uh, hurry up! Hurry up! Something that belongs to me. <laughs> oh shit! Oh! Oh, it's in a hot potato! Get it! Get it! Get it! <laughs> Destroy galaxies with a thought. Why won't you die? Oh my goodness! 
Wait, he... Wait, what? Did he just... Did Doctor Strange just take the power of the Soul Stone? Come on, Natasha! Woo! Real power! <laughs> oh! Oh, come on! Get it, get it, get it! Oh! 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 Gamora! <laughs> oh my goodness. No, no, no! Freak! Octopus is... He's got it too? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fuck. Crush it, crush it. Vegas. Come on, come on! <gasps> Did they do it? Is that it? Is, is it over? We win? Yeah? I'm honestly surprised. Didn't the Watcher warn you? Every universe is different. Each one just a Oh my goodness. Thus, the Infinity Stones are unique. The Crusher was designed to destroy the stones on my world, not his. Oh! If I destroy you, you all fall. Oh, if he destroys Doctor Strange, then they all will fall. Oh, interesting. Ah. Oh! The arrow from the la la last episode, maybe you'll still shoot it. Hey, Cap, I have an idea. Like an arrow with the mother of all viruses in the tip, but... Oh, yes. Come on, Natasha! <sighs> this one's for you, Clint. Yes! Is it gonna work? <laughs> One eye is. This is far nicer <laughs> than my human body. Yes, yeah, <laughs> there. Who said that? This, this whole is a fascinating change of face, yeah? <laughs> this body oh. is occupied. <laughs> now, but not For now. Once <laughs> upon a time, it was to bring forth Hydra's domination. But you ended that. So now I suppose my objective is and to you. end you. Oh! Wasn't expecting the arrow to come back with Zola. But that's kind of a cool twist. Knew we couldn't trust this son of a bitch. Cousin, what are you doing? With these stones, we could fix our worlds, our lives. I don't trust Killmonger Shout ever. <laughs> this is our only chance. Hand over the stones, cousin. But I'm not sure if it's gonna work because it's not specific people that can hold the stones. Oh no no no! I am afraid that armor belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's gonna blow up all of them. We were never meant to win. Oh, what? 
We were here to separate the stones from the body. So then they separate the stones from the bodies, and then they can put it back the stones to the different rea um, realities. So they still won in the end, I think? You foresaw every moment from the failed Infinity Crusher to Killmonger's betrayal, and my... Your sacrifice. Sacrifice? If that pocket dimension cracks, if they escape... I'll watch. Oh, so they're trapped the in there. Thank you, Steven. Hmm. And besides... What are friends for? <laughs> but your worlds will never know this victory. Once you walk through that door, you will return to the exact moment you left. Oh. Trust me. That world, that time, needs Captain Carter. I won't go back there. My world is... <laughs> it's a shithole right now. <laughs> gone. Tell me, did, did you make popcorn while Ultron murdered my friends and burned my world to the- You, your stories, they are everything to me. Then fix my world. I can't, Natasha. Well, the door was more of a metaphor anyway. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> where, where are we? On a world that lost their widow. <laughs> oh, I think it's time <laughs> you told me all your secrets. <laughs> oh! I was told you were dead. Same. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my Natasha, but something tells me you have her spirit. <laughs> Yay! That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Peter Quill and T'Challa. A place to belong, and I will protect it to the end. Oh, it's Peggy. <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> I'm too fast. <laughs> Don't tell me he was your type. <laughs> oh, I've never been so happy to see you. Uh, Did you hit your head or something? A few times, actually. We'll shake it off because you're gonna want all your marbles for this one. Oh no. I found what the pirates were after. Peggy, you might want to brace yourself. I can promise you. That what did what Black would find? The thing I dealt with today. Oh. Famous last words. Oh, Hydra Stomper. And there's someone inside. Is it Steve? It's totally Steve inside. Right? Ah! Yeah, that was episode 9 of What If. I really, really enjoyed this episode. I kind of liked episode 8 a little bit better, but with this episode, I liked how they tied elements of the other episodes that we saw, making it very purposeful. Like, it was like... Because when I was first initially watching the series, I was like, okay, well, how does, this ep how does episode 1 relate to episode 2 and 3 and 4? Um, but then we saw all the episodes tied together really nicely and, uh, and that's how it made it a bit more sense because of the different references to the other episodes that they used to combat Ultron. And I really, really liked that. And I was, I was not expecting that at all. And I, excuse me, really, really enjoyed it. I knew that Killmonger was gonna do something shady because he always does that all the time. That's just like his thing and his character. And the fact that him and Zola were going at it, but then uh, Doctor Strange like encased them in a different little universe or something like that um, and kept them there. And so the whole point was them was technically not to succeed in killing Ultron. It was to separate the stones so they couldn't use it, um, which was pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I just liked how all the different little elements in each episode tied really nice into this episode, and it made all the episodes kind of somewhat connect to each other at the very end, and I really, really liked that. And and I liked how, even with Doctor Strange, how, how in his Doctor Strange episode, he was absorbing other, like, creatures, and I was like, well, that's kind of like, why do they keep doing that, right? And then it was useful in the end, and to combat Ultron, and then 
we didn't see anything with, to do with Gamora until this episode, so that was pretty cool to see. And um, I believe, I think it was episode two, when we got to see Peter Quill at the Dairy Queen at the very end, and then Ego came in. Well, we got to see a little bit what actually happens afterwards, and T'Challa ends up blowing him up, if I'm correctly. And, and then Peter Quill and T'Challa, they hang out together, um, which is pretty cool. Um, they kind of end the episode two, they did leave that kind of hanging in there and making us wondering, hmm, why did they put Peter Quill and then Ego entering into the Dairy Queen and then it, it ends as like a little mini clip, cliffhanger? I'm like, hmm, that's interesting and made us think about, did they conquer all the universes together? Did Ego take over Peter Quill's mind? And uh, that was his whole point, I guess, in, in Guardians 2 that I remember was Ego was trying to teach Peter Quill his magic, I'm going to just say, um, and all that. But then the whole story of Guardians 2, um, if you if you watch this, you'll know Guardians 2, a Guardians 2 story, which is I really um, was okay with. But I just liked how we got to see a lot of different characters and making their own little Avenger group at the very end to combat Ultron. Um, and also... I don't know if it's supposed to give us a subtle hint of what to expect from the Doctor Strange, the new Doctor Strange movie, The Madness of the Multiverse, because Doctor Strange played a really big role into uh, helping the Watcher with the combining the different elements of the multiverse and cause it's just showing how powerful he is, and it almost seems that like makes me wonder if the Watcher is going to be connected to the Doctor Strange movie. And, um, and Doctor Strange having, like, knowledge of how to maybe to stop the madness from corrupting the multiverse or something like that. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. And then the fact that, like, the Watcher went back to each of the episodes and then just, like, picked at them. And it's like, yep, you're chosen. Okay, you're gonna get chosen for a mission. Let's go. And yeah, this kind of wraps up my thoughts about episode nine of What If. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. I'll see everyone in the next video. Peace out. Bye.